Um, so yes, at this meeting, uh, we present uh, results of uh, the final analysis of the CLL uh, 11 study. Uh, here are my disclosures. And um, as you all know, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia is a disease that primarily affects older people. And the purpose of that trial um, was to improve the treatment of these elderly CLL patients with comorbidities uh, by introducing uh, immunochemotherapy, because chemotherapy alone was the standard treatment at the beginning of the trial uh, still. Uh, another goal was uh, to compare obinutuzumab, that is a, uh, a type 2 glycoengineered CD20 antibody, which was new at the launch of the uh, trial, with rituximab, um, uh, broadly known uh, type 1 antibody targeting a CD20. So um, this was the, uh, the trial design. This was a randomized phase 3 trial. And um, it's already said, the trial recruited uh, around 800 patients who were older, the median age was 73 years, and who carried um, a significant burden of comorbidities. And then we had a three-arm design here um, with a common comparator, which was clarimbicil monotreatment. And, and then we had the combination of clarimbicil with rituximab and the combination with clarimbicil with obinutuzumab in that trial. And we had PFS as a, a primary endpoint and three pairwise comparisons in this trial here. So, um, the primary analysis was already done five years ago and actually presented at EHA here in Stockholm in 2013. There was also an updated analysis two years later. Um, basically, um, this, these analyses showed superiority of chemoimmunotherapy over chemotherapy alone with regard to PFS. This was true for obinutuzumab and rituximab, and also overall survival, which was only true for obinutuzumab. Um, the trial for the head-to-head -head comparison of the two antibody arms also showed superiority of chemoimmunotherapy with obinutuzumab when compared with rituximab with regard to progression-free survival and time to next treatment, but not overall survival at that time point. Now we have run the final analysis last year uh, after closing the trial. We now have a median observation time of five years, and um, the results... Um, to say it briefly, um, robustly confirm previous observations. We also did not um, uh, see uh, new safety signals. Uh, and importantly, in this analysis, we um, could demonstrate a statistically significant and also clinically meaningful overall survival benefit of obintuzumab over rituximab when combined with clarimbicil in this patient population. I briefly flipped through. Uh, three Kaplan-Meier plots to illustrate this. So this was a primary endpoint, progression-free survival here. As you can see, um, the PFS superiority of uh, obinutuzumab over uh, rituximab uh, was confirmed here with a nearly doubling of the median progression-free survival. And uh, this benefit translated into a clinically meaningful prolongation of the time to the next anti-leukemic therapy, uh, therapy. Again, this was virtually a doubling in the median time to next treatment in favor of the obinutuzumab arm. And these are the uh, overall survival um, curves for this recent analysis. Uh, and as you can see, this final analysis of the CL11 trial now demonstrates um, a um, prolongation of overall survival in the obinutuzumab arm compared to the rituximab arm. Um, um, the median overall survival in the rituximab arm was 73 years, whereas it was not reached in the obinutuzumab arm, and the hazard ratio was 0.76. We consider these results clinically meaningful and also remarkable uh, in the context of the long follow-up of the trial. So um, we conclude from these uh, data uh, that in the present treatment landscape of CLL, um, uh, we think that these data support the use of obinutuzumab and clarimbicil as a frontline th therapy in patients with CLL who are old and have comorbidities. If one decides for a clarimbicil-based chemoimmunotherapy in these patients, we think that these data strongly suggest to use obinutuzumab and not a type 1 antibody in this setting. We also think that um, these data 
reassures um, the choice of using obinutuzumab chloramycil as a, as a valid comparator arm in ongoing trials, um, testing new treatments in this um, vulnerable patient population. Uh, and finally, as you all know um, from these trials, um, um, there are new combinations being tested, and um, this, these data is a good basis. Suggest obinutuzumab is a preferred CD20 antibody for future combination regimens in CLL. Thank you for your attention.